Hello, welcome back to our channel. Today, we are going to make Doctor Strange Portal in Blender 3D. So, let's start the video. So, first of all go to Geometry Nodes here, and click on New. Here delete this group input. Now, press Shift plus A, and add a spiral. Add a transform node also. Connect this to geometry. And this one to output node. Now, you can see we have a spiral object in our viewport. Now, rotate it 90 degrees from here. That's good, but it's a spring type so, we have to scale it down to zero. So, now we need a rotating portal. For that, here add hashtag frame. You can see it's too fast, so we will divide it by 2. Put hashtag frame slash 2. Now it's perfect. Now, add a trim curve node here. And, first of all change the start radius to 0. So that it will start from the center. Let's do the animation now. In the trim curve node, change N to 0. And add a keyframe by pressing the I key. Now, go to frame 50. And change this to 0.1. And press I again. Now, select this keyframe, and duplicate it by pressing Shift plus D. Till frame 90 now, it will rotate like this. Now, go to frame 150, and change this to 1.0. Now, you can see the animation. Now one last thing to do is to turn it to a circle at the end. For that, go to frame 90 first, then add keyframe of the start radius at 0. Then, at frame 150, change it to 2. Go to frame 90 again, and add a keyframe of this rotations to 2. And at frame 150, change it to 1. Now, you can see it starts and ends perfectly. Also, change the resolution of the spiral to 100. Other effect is to add noise in the portal. As you can see, it's a perfect circle. So, First of all add a set position node here. Then, add noise texture. And connect it to the offset. Then, add a vector math node. And change it to multiply. Now, change these to 0.3 only on the X and Z axis. Now, you can see it's working. Now, change this to 4D, and scale to 0.8, and detail to 5.0. Now, it's looking good. At last, add a scene time node, and connect seconds to this. As you can see, now it's animating perfectly. Now, we need convert this to a mesh object. 
So, first of all add curve to mesh node here, and a curve circle node. Connect this to profile curve. Now it's converted, but it's too big. So, change the radius to 0.1. Now, it's perfect. At last, we need to close the portal. So, add another transform node here, and go to frame 230, and add a keyframe of scale at 1. And at frame 245, change these to 0. Now, you can see our portal is closing nice. So, our portal animation is ready. Now, we need to add particles to it. To do that, select the portal and go to Particles tab. Here click on plus icon to add new particle system. Now, our portal is creating particles, but they are falling straight down. So, go to Source, and turn on Use Modifier Stack. Now, you can see particles are much better. Select the end time of particles to 250. Now, press Shift plus A and add a cube. Take it a bit away from the portal. Now, under Render Settings, change this to Object, and select Instance Object, and select the cube. Now, you can see our portal is creating cubes instead of those particles. Scale it down to 0.2. Now, it's looking good. Under Velocity Settings, change Object Velocity to 0.3. Now, it's looking good. Now, we can increase the number of particles to 10,000. It's much better now. Change the lifetime of particles to 13. And maybe the scale should be 0.1. Increase the number to 100,000. That's perfect. At last, change the scale randomness to 1. Now, we need a floor at the bottom for the particles to collide with. To do that, first of all, add a plane, and scale it up and take it below our portal. Now, select the plane and go to Physics tab. Here, click on Collision to add collision properties. Now, change stickiness to 5, Damping to 0.5, randomize to 1, then friction to 0.5 and randomize to 1. Now, the particles are colliding with the plane. Now, one more thing to do is that, we have particles outside but not inside the portal. So, select the portal again, and go to Particles tab. Here, under Velocity Settings, change this randomize to 4.0. See, that's working. And maybe we should decrease Particle's lifetime to 10. That's perfect. Now, it's time to add lighting and shading to our scene. First of all, go to Shading tab. And here select Viewport Shading. Now, go to Render tab and change Render Engine to Cycles, and this one to GPU. Here, click on New, and delete this. Add an Emission node, and connect it to Surface. 
set the strength to 20. Now you can see, our particles emitting light. Now change the color to light yellow orange. We can increase the number of particles now. And maybe the strength to 15. Now, add a particle info node and a math node. Change it to divide. Now, connect the age and lifetime to this value. Now, add a color ramp node and connect the value to factor. Here, select fully bright and here much dimmer. Slide it a bit left. Now, add a math node again and change it to multiply. Connect the color to this value and this one to the emission strength. Now, we will change this value to 15 for the emission. Increase the number of particle more. Now, our particles are getting dimmer outside. Now, let's do rendering. Go to Render tab and enable Motion Blur. Now let's render our frame. As you can see, our particle cubes are rendered as strikes. We can decrease the motion blur a bit. Now, go to Compositing and turn on Use Nodes here. Now, add a glare effect here and select this to fog glow. Now, add a viewer node and connect to the image. Now we can see it as background. Now, change the mix to 0.5 and threshold to 0.7. As you can see, our render looks perfect. At last select the portal and go to Particles tab. Here, under Render setting, turn off Show Emitter so that our circle will not render. So, that's all, our Doctor Strange portal is ready. And don't forget to bake the particles before rendering the full animation. Thanks for watching.